welcome to the Tales of the Legendary, or also known as the Legendary Tales, here on the channel. Today, we're going to be playing a brand new RPG known as Legendary Tales. This is both a solo and also multiplayer RPG that not only plays incredibly well, but also looks fantastic. Like the lighting alone just screams polish and I absolutely love this man. And it has been quite a few years since I've even played this game and the fact I've never covered a video on it kind of blows my mind. Just the other day, I went and hopped in with downloadable content, and what we ended up doing is we went and did a co-op run-through, and I had an absolute blast with that. But I also wanted to go and hop into the dungeons alone, and just see how well I could hold up here within the game. So if you guys do end up enjoying this video and like to see more content made on the Legendary Tales, I would be definitely open to doing some more, because man, I am a huge fan of Ancient Dungeon VR, I'm a huge fan of Zenith VR, and Legendary Tales is definitely on that list in terms of just like a sword fighting RPG. So, without further ado guys, let's go and hop into the dungeons and see how well we can hold ourselves up here within the game. I'm actually really excited to go and cover this because boys, I have got a decent amount of loot. I got like this little buckler shield and I also got this big boy shield. And dude, these things for like blunt attacks have been absolutely incredible for keeping our health up in those really dire situations. So without further ado, let's go and open the doors to the legendary dungeons that are here in front of us. And just like you guys saw there, we walked right into the level and it seamlessly transitions you into this, man. This is by far one of the coolest things about this entire game, is the fact on how well the transitions work. And also not to mention, if I want to go and like make my way out of the dungeon, they also have a portal system. So if I go and like grab these portals and pull this way, I can form a teleporter that brings me back home. So now I can go and like if I had like a bunch of items on me that I wanted to go and sell I can open up this menu here and take the items that I find within my adventure and drop them off at like the black market And go and sell a ton of the weapons out of my inventory and literally go back to a checkpoint of where I opened my portal Instead of going back through like the main doors and having to go all the way back through the dungeon This just saves so much more time and is also a really cool way to go and encounter an RPG because not only are you like going and summoning these portals, but they're also like using your mana. So it like actually plays into a feature of the world that's in front of you here. But without further ado, guys, let's go and uh let's go and move our way into here. Cause we got a little archer friend that probably wants to go and uh have some fun with us. Oh god. It's been a little bit since I've played, so I'm hoping that I don't get completely beasted by this little archer boy. Okay, fire a shot. Let's try it. Yes, let's go. Oh, oh god. This is bad. This is very bad. Already off the start and we're already at half HP? Okay. Yeah, we need to pay a little bit more attention to what we're doing here. We are very, very low. Try to get some bashes on this guy. <gasps> okay. We are very, very rough right now, boys. Oh. Okay. Be beheaded! And this little skinny man is about to feel the wrath of the shield. And now it's time for you to be beheaded, my friend! God, man, I just love how satisfying this game actually feels. It's just so good in so many ways, bro. I've never realized, like, how much of a fan I am of the RPG formula. Just being able to go and, like, build up your character and get stronger over time. And just explore these dungeons, whether, like, they're completely random or if they're actually, like, generated the same every time. Either way, I just love the idea of being thrown into a fantasy world and being able to play through that and just procedurally get better and better and better as you go man it's nuts how much like i grew up like playing other games whether that be like fps and all those other things but i just never really played much of rpgs it was one of those things where i just i didn't think i would be as much of a fan of it until i started playing virtual reality and once i got like heavily into virtual reality dude i fell over the deep end when it comes down to just playing games 
with the RPG formula, dude. And I am not complaining. I absolutely freaking love it. But let's go and throw on a spell as well for this, because this would be incredibly helpful for getting some, like, ranged kills against, like, some of these guys who are, like, little archers. But let's just go and get some heals here. And we got some little skelly men that want to go and challenge us. So let's go and shoot some fire that way. We're going to take these enemies out. Kaboomskis. Yes, hello. You're dead, man. Thank you, good sir. And you must die. Thank you. Oh, my God. We got a big boy. And also, another really cool system about this game, too, is the fact that when you actually perfect parry an enemy, it will go in slow motion and give you a opening to go and attack these dudes. But only thing is, we got a ton of enemies that are actually going to be playing against us here. So we got to be very careful with how we're going to go and encounter these fights. Because I don't have DLC to actually help us here while we're going and playing. Oh, God, dude. Okay, I need to try my best to focus on this man just to get him out of the way. Perfect. Okay, and we got this scaly man. I gotta watch out because he might actually follow up with multiple attacks, which is very scary. So let's just try to play our range as much as we possibly can here. Oh gosh, okay, I'm gonna try to play my range. Oh, I tried to dodge it. Okay, that was very bad. Let's see if he goes for another another little uh, dive here. Ooh. Dude, he is a fast skeleton as well. So that's probably the scariest part about all this. I gotta see how he's gonna go and challenge this. He's becoming a crazy, crazy man. Oh, God. Okay, run, run, run. Let's see if I can go and cast some fire spells here. Let's get him out of the way. Go, 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 go. Okay, I'm going to bring up my big shield as well. Because I think this would be really good for this, this moment here. Just so we can actually get some really good parries. Oh, my God, dude. What is he doing? I'm trying to see if I can, like, try to utilize my shield for, like, other attacks here. Because that would be super, super helpful. And this man just like hugging me. Okay, he's almost down though. So we're doing pretty good here. Try to get a bash. Come on, baby. Oh god. And I am super low on my health as well. Which oh, did I just die? There is no way I just died off of that. I thought I had the block. Okay, so apparently I just got completely beasted by this man. So let's go and just spawn in another little weapon to possibly go and protect us. I should also try to go and get back to my Oh, is my gear even still here? Did I lose everything? No, we're still good. Okay, so let's go and pull this. Thank you, good sir. So now we got our shields back and also our weapon here. Oh, dude, he's just such a speed demon. Okay, thank you. And you, sir, must go and face your destiny. Because you decided to go and hurt me so greatly while I was trying to just go and show off the gameplay for this beautiful game. But man, I am absolutely sucking in terms of going and getting used to all this again because boys like i said it has been a very long minute since the last time i've even played legendary tales and this is the first time i've ever covered it on the channel as well so it's going to be a learning process as we go ahead and do this but i need to remember if there's a way to actually pop some of these potions because i have a ton of like hp potions it looks like inside of my inventory so I gotta, like, remember how to actually go and use those, because that could be, like, super helpful for the future, you know, moving through this, uh, moving through this dungeon while we, uh, possibly lose some of the health against these enemies. But, also, something I kind of, like, forgot to mention in the beginning of this video, there's loot inside of some, like, just the random stuff here within, like, this, uh, this dungeon as well. So, like, if you ever see that little circle that spawns in these crystals, these are ba- Oh, gosh, where did you come from? Jeez Louise. Okay, wait a minute. I should actually try to test uh, my little potion thing here as well while we're at it. I mean, it wouldn't hurt to at least just go and try that out. So let's go and get rid of you for now. And since we've done that, it looks like our potion already popped. But how do we do that? That must just be like spawning from the weapon. But anyways, what I was saying about the crystals is basically there are different rarities of these crystals. You got the regular common, you got an uncommon, you got a rare blue one, they go up to purple, yellow, and then there's also the legendary drop. And I'm hoping within this video we can possibly find a legendary because man, those things are the most satisfying things to possibly pull within one of your runs. It, like, just the sound alone is so freaking cool. And I would love to at least just get one feature where we possibly find a legendary drop here within the game, dude. I mean, it's in the name of the game. Legendary Tales. If I can't find a legendary weapon as we go through this little, uh, 
procedural dungeon, I am gonna be a sad, sad boy. But, ooh, a little hobgoblin, hello you. Good to see you, my friend. Only thing that like really sucks about these little guys is it's kind of hard to actually block when they go for attacks. So that's the one thing that definitely concerns me as we go and do this. But let's see if I remember how to do that. Okay, so is that potions? Okay, perfect. So I actually did pop a potion there. So it should just be the top circle button whenever I need to actually go and pop a potion in the future. So I'll definitely keep that in mind when we're getting in some like dicey, dicey situations. Don't think I didn't see you, Skelly boy. Oh, and he got caught on that actual... He got caught on the wall. Oh, God. And there's an archer there, too. Oh, thank God for our blunt attacks, though. This, like, this shield has been a lifesaver for a lot of the attacks I've been going for. Let's hope that he actually shoots the shield. Thank you. Oh, he's gonna go for another shot. Okay. Let's go bash you. Let's get you out of here, skelly man. Oh, that's what I thought. And let's see if we can actually go and actually decap him. Using the shield. Oh, that would have been so sick if we would have got him. But you know what would be, like, amazing? I know, like, this probably isn't, like, well-known by a lot of people. Especially in, like, the flat screen community. But, like, there's a game called Dark and Darker. Okay? And it's basically a PvP, PvE, like, not Battle Royale, but kind of like a Tarkov, um, style game. It's like an extraction medieval game. And I'm sitting here thinking, like, Legendary Tales could legit be the Dark and Darker of virtual reality, which would be so freaking sick, bro. Oh my god, what was that? What are you doing? And where'd you come from? Okay, you guys are not very friendly, and you might- you need to die, okay, while I try to focus on this other dude. I don't really appreciate this, and I gotta watch up, like, for the follow-ups here, because that's probably the biggest concern whenever I'm actually going for these attacks, is the way the skeletons follow up with some of their moves. Like, every now and then, they just had to get a little freaky with their moves, man. And I need to make sure I just don't get, like, completely walloped by these dudes here. Because this is, like, super easy dungeon runs at the beginning of all of our, uh, of our adventure. So there's no way that I should actually even be dying at this level, dude. I need to get, like, get my stuff together and start moving smoothly as we go through the legendary tales. So we got a little hobgoblin. So, Mr. Sir, you're about to feel the pain. Woo! As I say that, I literally get smacked by him. Okay, I weigh so much as well. I wonder if there's any way I could possibly go and try to get a little bit more uh, speed upgrades. Because that would be so freaking nice for what we're trying to do here. Try to wait for this man. Oh my gosh! Another really cool thing about this game as well is the fact you can't actually just parry by holding your sword right where it's supposed to be. You need to actually combat back with enough force to parry against the enemies that you're fighting. I think that needs to be used a lot more in VR games because most of the time it's just kind of like one of those, uh, you know, you just hold it in a position and it works for you. Like if you played Blade and Sorcery, that's basically like the same. I mean, you can still like go and swing and parry that way. But for the most part, I mean, you can survive just by holding your weapon right where it needs to be. While in this game, if I were to go and do that, you'll kind of notice, let me actually check and see how much health I got. I need to go and actually heal up. Okay, so I'll test it right over here. So if you notice, he'll go for a swing, and he'll still hit me if I don't block using force. But now that he hit me with that, if I go and wait for a parry, and I swing, you can notice it gives me an opening with a perfect parry if I actually swing at the right time, which is so freaking legit, dude. Oh, I freaking love Legendary Tales, and I, just, I cannot wait for this game to actually get its update because it has been waiting quite a long minute for their new update, and I am just, I'm waiting patiently because I am an excited, excited little man. Okay, and this guy needs to die before he gets back up. So let's go and get you out of the way. Oh, I thought you were gonna go for a double swing. Woo! Okay, I need to try to play my distance as much as possible here. Let's try to get a perfect parry. Perfect. And you are donezo, my friend. Let's go and chuck that around the wall and see if we can get a decent amount of loot. Ooh, we got a bow. That's actually kind of nice. And then we just got another common weapon, which I don't think is going to be really anything that we need. But we'll go and absorb it anyway. We can always go and sell it. So we got that there. And then let's see. What else can we possibly do? Um, so we got... We need to actually get some more healing potions because that would be incredibly nice. On top of that, I should be able to go and spend some of my skill points because I have not been upgrading in the slightest. And I am currently on this character that I'm using. I am level 17 out of 50. So let's go over to my traits and see what we can actually go and buff up for our skill tree. Dude, no way! I can actually go and upgrade like a bunch of passive abilities and stuff too? Okay, you know what? I need to sit down and actually look at all this stuff. Um, it's probably a good idea while we're at it as well. 
to go and open up a portal. So I'm going to go and save one of these just in case for a checkpoint. I'm not going to go through it. It will be nice to actually have that. And then we also... Oh, God. I didn't realize you were here. Okay, so it looks like we got a few more enemies that were just kind of roaming around. Which is good that we noticed it now. Because uh, if they would have beasted me while I was looking at my menu, that could have been very unfortunate. Let's go for his legs. I wish there was a way to actually like damage certain parts of the body so it would actually be a little bit more... Uh, what's the word? Like, immersive in that sense. Like, if you went and slashed the leg of a skeleton, they would actually struggle walking and other things like that. I think that would be a really cool addition to the game. But, uh, let's go and open up the menu, and I want to check and see what we can actually do with our skill tree here. Because if we can actually spend a lot of these points for passive upgrades, I would be more than open to this. So, dude, there are so many things I have to keep in mind. And like you guys just saw there, if you're kind of, like, trying to understand what the heck I'm talking about, it's basically a skill tree. And throughout your raids and your dungeon runs that you go and do, the more skill points you're going to develop, the more abilities you'll be able to go and, like, improve upon. There's just so much that you can actually learn as you're going through these, like, dungeons, which is so incredibly fun, man. Like, I love any sort of progression in VR games, and this game does it so incredibly well for a medieval sword fighting one, man. It's just so freaking nice. But I really wish I could actually go and, like... Use my parry with the, uh, the fist. I would love to try it, but I just don't want to risk it right now. Because, man, we are pretty dang low. We are at, like, legit 2 HP and a dream. So, you know what? I'm going to be smart here. I got a lot of money. I'm going to go back through my portal. I'm going to buy a healing potion and probably sell some of this stuff, too. Because we have a ton of items on us. And we might as well just go and get some extra money. And then we can just go right back through the portal and get back into the exact spot where we were just previously. So let's go and run over to this little guy, and we're going to go and sell everything that we possibly got inside of this. So let's go and sell all the items. We get a good amount of money off of that, and I'm wondering, how much money do we have in all? Like, I got to see, we got 10,000 gold. So I'm going to go and buy a healing potion while we're at it. So let's go and grab you. Thank you, good sir. So now we got two extra healing potions within oh did that actually just heal me okay i think that just healed me let's try to buy another one thank you how much does that actually fill up so it only does like a fourth of each of these so i should be full now right Okay, perfect. So now we have two full potions going into our raid once again, and our mana is completely full as well. Okay, so we are looking mighty fine, my friends. And honestly, when we go back into this, I'm probably going to go and open another portal just to be safe. I mean, it wouldn't hurt just to have an extra one. So let's go and do this again. Um, we will grab two portals, and we will drag this like so. Thank you. I don't want to leave in it. Okay, perfect. I just want to make sure I don't accidentally walk into it. So now we have a checkpoint in case we ever need to go back within this raid. I should also go and throw on some spells while we're at it, just in case we can go and get some crazy range kills on some of these fools. Oh, you did not die. What are you doing? Okay, let's try this again. Boom! Okay, magic is so incredibly useful. I need to be very... uh like, I need to be a lot more conscious about going and using my magic for, like, these ranged attacks. Because, dude, they work so incredibly well for getting some of these guys out of the way. Compared to just going for, like, melee attacks and all that jazz. Because, like, if I have the mana, I might as well use it, dude. You know what I mean? I might as well use it. Okay, I'm going back. And now it's time for you to face the wrath of my ice, friend. Okay? Die! Okay, that did no damage. Hello? Who do you think you are? Oh. Okay, well... I now have an ice, uh, I have an ice spell prepared for your face, so die. Thank you, good sir. Dude, the magic feels so satisfying in this game, too. The magic feels good. The weapon weight feels even better. And actually, I think that's something I forgot to mention in the beginning of this video as well. So something that makes this game, like, stand out a lot compared to others is the fact that this game has weapon physics of weight dude like i'm sure you can probably kind of see in the gameplay but nothing will ever like really really scream the physics and the way it feels without like just playing it yourself you know like that's one of the most obvious things that i say to everyone is like you just gotta play it to understand it and especially in virtual reality it's one of those things that you really can't you really can't just visually see you need to be able to feel the delay with these weapons because like on a video you might be able to kind of see the delay when i'm like swinging this weapon but when you actually are in the game swinging the weapons and feeling the weight behind your swings dude it just feels 
so fun. Like, that's the best way I can explain it. It's just, it's a fun mechanic. I love it. I love it. I love it. I've always been a huge fan of physics. And the more and more games continue to go and push, like, that level of, I guess, immersion, the better. I seriously love it, dude. A prime example would be Saints and Sinners, Blade and Sorcery, or obviously as the game that we're playing now, Legendary Tales, and also not to mention, uh, Dungeons of Eternity. That's another, like, underrated title, I would say. Like, honestly, Dungeons of Eternity is basically the Legendary Tales for Quest. Like, no joke, that is actually a really good exa- Oh my gosh, are you going for another swing? You psycho, what were you thinking? Skeleton was going for some crazy freaking attacks, man. Oh my goodness. You are a psycho. And I'm gonna go and get a little bashy poo. After you go and decide to go for a swing, you're gonna get bashed, my friend. Become confused. Thank you. And I will take that gladly. Thank you very much. I need to leave this room because apparently we don't have anywhere to go inside of here. So I'm gonna go and spend some of my heals to possibly see where this wisp wants to bring us. Is it this one? Okay, there we go. Mr. Wispy Boy, please bring me to where I need to go. Do I still have my potions, by the way? Okay, it looks like some of my potions were actually already activated, which is a little unfortunate. But I'm guessing our path has to be through this door? Yes, okay. Let's go and continue, my friend. And we got a big boy. Oh my gosh, and he's got reach. So maybe this wouldn't be a bad idea to go and play a range. Okay. Let's go and try to use some of our mana. Oh, God. Okay, you are right behind me. What the heck are you doing? Let's just go and get rid of some of the other little guys first. We'll try to go and cook up our spells. I wish there was a way I could slow him down with that spell. Like, that would be so incredibly useful. Okay, you need to back away. Skeleton, please just give me some... Give me some breathing room here. Thank you. And now we can go and challenge the boss, man. Oh, whoa! Did you see that attack behind the back? That was insane! Oh god. Okay, I need to figure out how to like read his attacks here. This is a little scary. Oh my god! We got an opening, and then we gotta go. Okay, let's run. Let's go and cook up another spell here. Oh, he just dodged my spell! Did you see that? Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna go and bring out the little buckler. See if he goes for another swing here. Oh my god! Thank you, shield. You're amazing! Bless your soul. Give me another very good opening. Woo! Okay, and our heals are looking very, very strong as we speak. But this little mini boss is definitely not a friendly, friendly man. Let's see if he goes for another attack here. Oh, there we go. That's exactly what we needed. Woo! Is he going to go for a double swing? Okay, no, we're chilling. Oh, no. Okay. Woo! He did a lot of damage on that attack. So we got to be, like, super conscious about our health as we're going through this. Oh my goodness, dude. Okay, so we got another glove, which I don't know. Okay, it's definitely not better than the gloves that we have, but we can definitely sell those. Okay, wait a second. Holy crap! Okay, you decided to go a little bit crazy with that one. Oh, and you're gonna fall right back down. Oh, what? Wait, how'd you get up? Where'd you come from? Okay, that's bad. Whew. Okay, good block. But let's go and throw on some spells. And we'll grab another ice spell on our other hand, and we will just go and beast you. Get you out of the way. Thank you. And you, sir, can also die. All right? You must own up to your failure. And what do we got? It's another blue one. I really don't want to climb down there just for another crystal. I'm going to leave that. Honestly, I'm just looking for rare stuff. That's all I really want right now. We have been, you know, we've been taking our merry time throughout this run. So I definitely want to go and just, like, see if we can possibly find a legendary drop, because, dude, there is no better feeling than pulling one of those legendaries. Like, no joke. It's just such a cool feeling in the game, bro. No joke. I love it each and every time I get one. It's been a long time since I pulled one, too. So I need to actually get one very soon. I would love to go and show you guys that in a video. There's no better feeling than pulling a legendary within Legendary Tales. It's just, dude, the sound... And, like, the excitement that you get when you get one of those drops is just, it's unmatched. Especially when you're playing multiplayer with friends and you hear, like, your buddy go and get one. Holy crap, dude. It's just, it's literally why you play this game is to get your better loot. And when you actually get that, it's just, there's no other feeling, man. Seriously love it. And you, sir, must be dead. I sends you to the ground. All right, goodbye, skelly boy. Only problem is, is unfortunately, we, uh... 
We're kind of stuck where we're at right now. It looks like we got another dead end in this room, so we're gonna have to go back and hopefully find the right direction to go here within this level. Oh, look at you! You're actually better than most of the other stuff I've been getting. Definitely not the full-out legendary, but it's better. So we managed to get a magic wand, which is a 13% chance of getting item crystals, two intellect, 1% mana recovery after each kill, and two damage to an attacker when a player is hit. Dude, what? Okay, well, I might actually keep you for now, so let's go and throw you inside the inventory. At least save you for the moment. I'm not too huge about, like, doing the magic casting. I'm not much of, a, like, a wizard player. I'm a lot more of, like, rocking the blunt force and going in and being kind of a warrior when it comes down to a lot of it. Just because, I don't know, I played a lot of blade and sorcery. I played a lot of sword fighting games in VR. And it's just, it's where the fun is for me, man. I'm not against going, like, doing magic casting, obviously. Because, like, spell casting is a very fun and enjoyable thing to do. But, in the same way... It's it's so cool going like parrying enemies in the first hand and being just you know in the mix if that makes sense Just being out and get into like all the mayhem first hand straight. <gasps> what the freak are you? What the heck? I have never seen that in the history of my entire life. That was so scary. Oh Whoa, I actually completely missed that read. You gotta be kidding me, dude. What? How did I actually almost like mess that all up with my blocks? That would have been that would have been fatal. I could have probably actually died to that. Okay, so let's go and open up another portal just in case. Because we have made it a lot further than, you know, where we dropped our portal last time. So let's go and open that up. Thank you. And what are we looking like for our inventory? Okay, we actually still have a good amount of openings there. So we are fine on that front. I'm going to go and continue and see where we can possibly go and run. Um, I should probably put my hand on this too. And just see. Oh, we got some more skelly boys though. Okay, let's go and make our way in here and just have some crazy combat. Nice! Okay. These guys really want to just go and play a little dirty. How dare you! Get out of here, son! Ugh. Oh, he actually got the jab. You gotta be kidding me, dude. I didn't think he would get that reach. Okay, let's wait for it. Ugh. Ugh. Oh my god, that shield badge! Okay, you know how I was talking about being like kind of like the front heavy guy running in and doing all the crazy stuff? In the same way, I also have, like, my build currently kind of feels like a tank. Like, I feel very tanky. You know what I mean? Like, I just kind of go in, I block a lot of the attacks, and I take, like, the point for a lot of, like, the, the main damage hits. So, something I should focus on, like, in the future is, like, boosting my vitality so I have more HP for the way I've been actually, like, drawing enemies and, like, just getting in the mix that way. But let's go and heal up as well because I think that might be a good idea to pop my little potion. But how much more potions do we have? We have one full pot that we can still use. Okay, sweet. So that's probably what, like two or three use cases? Sweetness. Let's just not go and ruin what we've just done, okay? I don't want to go and lose all the HP I just got. Perfect parry! Get out of here, son! You must die! I don't know how to explain it, but that finishing move is just such a cool feeling in the game. Like, oh man. Everything about Legendary Tales is just good, bro. Like, obviously, there are some things that are like, why does that happen? Like, I mean, you just saw with that skeleton earlier. But, I mean, the actual, like, feel of the game and how well the pacing is. And just, like, being able to go and adventure and continue to build your character throughout all of this. Like, the game just has a very, like, addicting replayability formula. The one thing I wish we could see, and I still hope in the near future, is to see this game allow modding, like, modding support. Because, dude, I can only imagine the custom dungeons people would create, the custom enemies people would create, custom legendary weapons you could possibly pull, literally anything, dude. Like, once you allow modding to any games like that, there is so much potential for growth, and just even, like, potential for things that the devs just wouldn't even, you know, have imagined to do in the first place, you know? And having the opportunity to do something like that is just... Seriously unbelievable. I, I love it so much. So if the devs ever end up watching this video and they, they hear my plea Please for the love of God. Just add modding support. It's something that you know It's something that you don't even have to control It's free content that the community wants to go and push like there is so much potential for it And I just I'd love to see it man. It'd be so awesome. And also is this a challenge room? It kind of looks like a challenge room area 
So I'm gonna go up to the top and see if we can maybe find a golden portal. Because if we're lucky, we might be able to go to a challenge room and get some really good loot. Because it kind of looks like that. Oh my goodness! Holy crap! What were you doing there? There are so many enemies. That could have been a little bit uh, unfortunate. So let's go and grab some spells. We're gonna keep running. We'll grab some ice. Okay, let's see if we can just go and hit you with an attack. Beautiful. Let's go and beast this man. Okay, we got a little buckler. Let's go and get some of our magic prepared. Oh, that man just dodged that too. Okay, so we still have our portal right over here. This is perfect. So let's just go and bait him right over to this area. And we'll get some crazy attacks as we go ahead and move through this. Let's go, baby. Fight me. Oh, God. Actually, you know that thing where I said fight me? Maybe let's not do that right now. Oh, wait a minute. You're going to just go and accept your fate like this? <laughs> I just karate chopped his head off. You guys see that? Oh, my God. It was ridiculous. Okay, so we got another shield as well for a drop. Thank you, good sir. It's beautiful. Oh, you actually went for that, you psycho. Let's wait for another jab coming from this man. Oh, is he going to go for a follow-up? Nope. He's going to die. That's what's about to happen. Thank you. <gasps> and we got another gold. What the freak, dude? We've been getting a lot of golds, but... Unfortunately, that's not that's not the legendary that we're looking for. We had a lot of skeletons that decided to go and push us there, and luckily we pulled out with not really losing much of our health. We did very, very good for like our health conservation, which I am so happy about. But we got another friend that decided to go and stay on the stairs. I don't know what this man was thinking, but he's about to go and eat his freaking words. This poor little soul. You are a dead man, little skelly boy. And we got another common crystal, but... Dude, we gotta get, like, better luck here with our, our drops. I wanna see if we can possibly get, like, a purple or possibly even a orangey boy. Because the orange ones, oh my god, bro. When we get that legendary, you guys will know when we pull... Oh my gosh, you actually got my leg off that hit. Let's go and heal back up, because I do not want to risk this. But I'm gonna go and get a shield bash on this fool when he decides to go for another swing. Nice. I was hoping to go and get a little confusing hit on him. I was hoping he would actually get confused once I hit him with the buckler. Because every now and then, I can actually, like, disorient them and make them just run around crazy when I go and use this. Because apparently it's got, like, a hidden ability here within it. But also, little goblin boy. If there's any way I can go and try to kite you out instead of the skeleton that I just launched my, my ice at, that would have been great. But apparently I decided to go and challenge everybody. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. What's happening? Oh, dude, does he have a spell that stops me in place? Oh, that is a scary, scary spell. Okay. Get you out of here, son. Please, can you just hit your friend? Oh, I'm stuck again. Oh, no. This is bad. So they got an ability here within the game that stops me in place. It must just be like the actual boss that's going and doing this. Okay, perfect. Let's go and absorb this. Oh, he did it again. Okay, so I need to parry. Come on. Go. Dude, that is... The most terrifying attack that I've seen in this game so far, where I legit have to go and hold my ground in order to go and actually fight this guy. Oh, he did it again. No. Okay. Please, let me out of here. Oh. That is so terrifying. Oh. Okay, nice parry. Let's go and grab that gold, please. Thank you. Oh, he actually got me through that. No way. Oh, he got a block on me, too. No, don't you dare. Don't you dare. Okay. Get me out of here. I need to pop a potion. Oh, I don't have any more potions. Okay, I need to pop a portal here very, very soon. He's gonna probably stop me again here. Oh, come on, please. Get me out. Woo -hoo -hoo. Okay, let's just try to go and cast a spell. Oh my god, he actually almost had the reach. Dude, and we were so far away from our portal as well. He's probably gonna cast another, like, stopping ability here. No! Get me out of here, bro. No! Dude, he almost had to leap on us. That was terrifying. But we managed to get two golds off of that. Okay, let's go and spawn those bad boys in and see if we possibly got any better loot here. We got a three plus dexterity, two intellect, and three damage to the attacker when hit. And then we got an axe, which does 20% to 27% damage increase on slashing attacks. Okay, wait a minute. What is my main weapon even do? Mana recovery, 20% damage increase on piercing attacks. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of my buckler. And I'm gonna put two weapons on my holster so I can choose between these. 
Okay, and I'm gonna go and open up another portal as well. And what I need to do is I need to actually go back and test my piercing and my slashing to see what exactly is gonna actually activate those abilities for the weapons I'm using. So that's piercing. If I actually get a full out like jab, that's a piercing attack which is gonna utilize the most amount of damage within that. Whilst if I go and use this, this is where I'm actually most of the time using my attacks anyway, is going for a slash. So this might be exactly what I need to be focusing on while using this. So I might go and use the hatchet and switch this out actually. Only problem is I won't be able to block as well because the sword has like a really good like, I guess leeway where I'm able to like really block a lot of those like close range attacks. But in the same way, let's go and buy a ton of potions because this would be a really good addition to the team. How much money do we have? We still have 10,000 gold, and we have a ton of items to go and sell. Okay, yeah, we are looking very, very good right now, especially for, like, our dungeon crawling that we've already been doing today. So let's go and sell a lot of the items that we have in our inventory. We'll get a ton of money off of this, and then after that, honestly, dude, you know, I'm probably just gonna sell all this stuff. I know we have some golds in here, but I think I might actually sell it. We'll make a ton of money off of this. 5k, dude. Okay, yeah, we're definitely selling. Goodbye, random loot that I will never use, okay? I need to go back into this dungeon and go and finish this bad boy, because we've been recording for a good minute, and we've been on the same level for the most part. I need to find the way out and just go and make my way back home. But that's the beauty of Legendary Tales, dude. You can take it at whatever pace you want, and honestly, it just, it works. And especially with, like, this checkpoint system, it makes it so much better as well. Because as you're going and proceeding through your dungeon, you know, you could sit here and do what I do, where I go, like, crazy for loot, and just, like, hunt a lot of stuff. But in the same way, if you're not really- What the freak was that? Oh my god, it was a bat. Why was that so loud? That actually scared the crap out of me. Okay, we got a ton of these stupid bats. And they are so fast, too. Stupid bat, get out of here. Who do you think you are? I did not just get a rare drop from a freaking bat, right? Did I, did I read that correctly? Come here, you stupid bat. Dude, all of them gave me drops, what? Okay, well, I'll take them gladly, might as well. More loot the merrier. We got another bat coming in too. Where are you at, dude? Oh, there you are, come here, friend. <laughs> nice. I will grab that axe back, thank you. I really wish that there was a challenge room in here, because it kind of looks like, you know, the ideal challenge room area where you'd have like a portal sitting there, but unfortunately it does not seem like our luck is with us. So let's go and continue down. I assume this is the way that we need to go, because we came from the downstairs, if I remember correctly. So let's go and make our way through the doorways and possibly get our way out of our first dungeon here, boys. We definitely need to go and find our way out. So let's go and cast a little wisp and see where you decide to go. Let's see here. So come here, Mr. Skelly boys. Oh, actually, you got a bow. Uh-oh, ow. That kind of hurt. That kind of hurt a lot. Oh my god. Okay, I gotta remember how to do blocks with this thing too. I don't know if I even can with the ax. I'm gonna test it out. Oh god. But in the same way, I do have the shield. So I mean, it is very useful to what we're doing here too. Oh, the slashes are so nice. Nice, dude. And you keep trying to shoot that bow at me, you little crazy man. Okay, I'm gonna go and work my way up. Because I need to go and possibly get you out of here, Mr. Mans. Alright, I'm getting a lot of loot here. And I need to also keep my health up as we're doing this as well. Okay. Go and get out of here, son. Okay. Honestly, running around with this axe is the best decision I have made so far within these runs. And we got, ooh, there's a little swordsman over here. So you want to come out and play? Let's have some fun, big man. Okay, hello, big man. Let's have some fun here. Come on, bring your way out of here. You can run. Oh, I got to remember too. I need to actually like work with my shield as well when he goes for these attacks. Ooh, and you're kind of getting a little fancy with it. What the heck? What were you doing? I'm going to boost my health back up because I do not want to risk going down this late into the run. Come on. Come over here. Whoa! Oh my goodness, dude. The behind the back is seriously such a nuts move. Like, I can't believe they actually hit those maneuvers with the skeletons. But definitely one thing I would love to see improve about this game, and something that is, like, super strong within, like, Ancient Dungeon, is the enemy types. I feel like one of the things that lacks especially in this game 
is, you know, the repetitiveness of versing a lot of the same enemy types. I mean, the bosses are super cool, and the rooms are super great with, like, the procedural generated stuff, but it's just one of those things where it's like, it would definitely benefit having more. Even, like, Battle Talent, for instance. You know, like, Battle Talent has a lot of different types of enemies you can fight, which just makes it, you know, it makes it feel new every time you're going and running into a lot of your dungeon runs, and I think this game could incredibly benefit I'm just having a little bit more variety. Granted, the enemies that they already have within it feel really good. Like, they're super well done and polished, and, like, that's great. But definitely for a lot of the players, I'm sure they could benefit off of just adding, you know, a few more enemy types here within it. And this guy's gonna try to go and bow me. Crazy man. Okay. Please don't hit me with your, uh, little archer, okay? That would not be very kind. Your boy just wants to go and proceed out of this dungeon. Okay, I have been in here for so long, and I need to go. Okay, get me out of here. Thank you. I will take that gold and leave on my merry way. I gotta imagine that this is probably where the ending is. I might be crazy. It might just lead me to a dead end, but I think we're on the right track here. So let's go and jump right down. One thing I've also noticed is I have not found any of the chest rooms. Am I crazy for saying that? I don't think I found a single chest room throughout this entire run. Like, where is my luck, boys? And I say that, but this, this is the ending of our dungeon run, ladies and gentlemen. We've done pretty well. I mean, we had a pretty smooth run all the way up until this point. I'm pretty happy with the way all this went. We ran into a lot of mini bosses. We found decent loot for the most part. We got upgraded weapons. And now is the time to really shine because we can get a few goldie boys right out of this chest so let's see what we go and pull we got a golden crystal and let's go and see what you decide to go and give us a level 10 club but anyways ladies and gentlemen that is gonna be it for legendary tales here on this video if you did have enjoyed it and would like to see more content made on this game then be sure to go and smash that mother fracking thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you guys are new so you guys can stay up to date with all of your content we post other than that guys as always keep it toasty my friends laters i got some shells for you more oh it's in his eye oh i fixed it i would have no. died well right no, no. here oh! <laughs> <laughs> Armageddon! Yeah! Why in the heck do you not have clothes? You took my banana, and now you must suffer the consequences! <laughs>